I'm very proud to say that I've competed my heart out for 18 years. I always have new goals to achieve and um, you know, I love the competition. Unfortunately, there's a hell of a lot of training goes into you know, a seven minute race. You know, we're here 11 months a year training, so um, you know, it's not easy, um, but that also makes it more rewarding when you do get the results. We train uh, six days a week and uh, two to three times every day. At this point in my career, uh, physically, I'm fairly well hit my limits. Recovery takes longer, etc. So, you know, now you're looking for those other advantages, and, and you know, the three aspects, I guess, of rowing is, is the physical, is the mental, and the technical. And uh, you know, the technical is probably where I can do the, the most work at the moment and, and find the most improvement. So, you know, I've been rowing for, for 18 years. Uh, and that's, that's the, the thing that I'm still working on and that's why we do so many kilometres. The mental aspect's a, a big part of it, especially in the single because it's, it's a tough boat. Um, you know, you, you're by yourself a lot. There's a lot of things to think about. There's a lot of um, pain that you have to put yourself through. Uh, and, you know, that's a lot where the mental comes in because you've got to try to block that out. Um, you know, a lot of the time, you know, your body's telling you that you should stop now, um, and you know, your mind's just got to, you know, block that out and say, no, we're going to keep going and we're going to, you know, finish this off. At the 2016 Olympics, the men's single skull final came to a thrilling conclusion, with Drysdale taking the gold medal over Croatia's Demir Martin, edging him out of the win by five one thousandths of a second. Following their photo finish, Drysdale invited Martin to train with him at the New Zealand High Performance Centre in Cambridge. It's great to have him in New Zealand and, and here training with us. I think it's a mutually beneficial thing. It's very competitive and that means that you know, you're pushing the limits all the time and, and sort of learning, I guess, a bit about yourself and learning a bit about them. And that makes it, it even more special, I guess, when you do line up against each other and, and race. We were always wondering how strong he is, what he's doing, what he's eating, what, I don't know, what kind of trainings he does. So now I see he's pretty normal. He just <laughs> pushes a little bit harder till the end of the, of the trainings. When you get two guys uh, like us together, neither of us want to lose. And, you know, we, we have a, a, a low rate. So rate is, is uh, how many strokes per minute you take. That if you're at a lower rate you've got to put more power in per stroke. Your normal training rate is around 18 to 20. If one of us starts to push and then the other one will start to push and then it just gets faster and faster and the heart rate gets higher and higher and the speeds get faster and faster and uh, yeah suddenly you're, you're doing some, some pretty impressive speeds at, um, at some very low rates. We're stunned how he had lower stroke rate than, than the others. Uh, it's always nice to see what he is doing, how he is doing, how the preparation goes. It's, it's easy to make one result, but I think for 10 years to be on the top, that's something that experience makes, I hope, to make something that I last as long as, as Mahe. You want the, the sport to evolve, you want it to get faster, you want to, uh, to have those great races and um, you know, part of that is, is uh, I guess training with each other and, and trying to push each other to, to places that, that uh, well you don't really want to go there uh, <laughs> when you're racing but um, you know, when you do have to like, like in Rio it uh, makes it very special. I'm looking to go through to Tokyo, um, I'll be 41 so that will uh, certainly be it for me in, in rowing. Every single day, you're trying to achieve, you know, one small little goal, and and you know, it's those those tiny details that that ultimately, over a, a long period of time, um, you know, out, add up and build up. And you, you can't take shortcuts. You've got to do everything, um, you know, absolutely to the best of your ability. So, you know, that's that sort of, I guess, my mantra. You know, the best you can be, and and that's what I try to to live by every day.